So here's a little trick. So I use Simply Safe alarms at my home and several other areas, including our RV. And if you park a cargo trailer or something like this next to your home and you put Simply Safe sensors like door entry sensors, motion detectors, sirens, things like that inside of your trailer, you probably will be able to reach the receiver inside of your home because I use Simply Safe sensors everywhere. So that's what we do. Whenever I keep the trailer here at the house, I actually have a door sensor in here and I have other sensors inside of this trailer that will let me know if somebody's tampering with the trailer or even trying to tow it off and it will set my alarm off. So that's one of the really cool features of having a completely wireless alarm system. All right, so I know it was just a matter of time before people wondered when I was gonna upgrade my trailer coupler lock from this e-trailer version to Fort Knox locks. Now Fort Knox locks produces these really cool encasement style locks for your couplers for various different types of trailers from fifth wheels to goosenecks to your standard Kurt style coupler, bulldog, everything pretty much in between. So you have to make sure you get the right one. But they've done something very unique here and it's definitely worth pointing out. So first of all, something I wanna point out about this e-trailer lock, a lot of people saw it and said, man, the lock picking lawyer busted through that thing in a second without even having to pick it. And that's because in his video, he showed one that was designed for a two and a two and five sixteenths inch thick ball or ball mount. And this specific one has been redesigned. So this fits a one and seven eighths as well as a two inch ball mount. And there is no way to just remove this. So you would in essence have to pick it. And he can pick pretty much any lock. So I don't consider anything like this to be a challenge for him. And uh, you kind of expect really good locksmiths to be able to get through just about any type of lock. Otherwise you'd have a problem if you call them and they come out and they can't pick your lock. But yeah, this was a relatively simple lock for him to pick. But the one thing I just wanted to address is that on this two inch coupler, it does not come off. There's no way just to slide it off or get it around. And again, I believe they've been relabeled. So this one is actually designed or it's been made smaller to fit a two inch and a one and seven eighths inch versus the two and five sixteenths, which has a completely different skew. It's its own product. Anyways, let's get to the locks we're looking at today. All right, so here are two seemingly identical locks or case style encasement locks for a Kurt style hitch. And this coupler right here is a Kurt style coupler. I'm sorry, I said hitch earlier, I meant coupler. So this is not manufactured by Kurt, even though it looks just like the Kurt product. What they discovered through trial and error and other customers talking about it is the fact that not everyone produces this coupler the same. It's a Kurt style, but again, everyone does it a little bit differently. So it doesn't mean that you're gonna get one that's designed by Kurt or engineered by them and it's not gonna fit exactly the same. So what they had to do is actually produce two products. One of them here has a slightly shallower cutout. You see that? This one's about an eighth of an inch deeper. And this is because this is designed to fit the actual Kurt brand and the copies of the Kurt brand that are designed properly, that are the right size. This one right here is designed for those other ones that don't typically have the right size cutout. So whenever you put this on a Kurt style or a Kurt coupler, this should fit properly. But some of the aftermarket ones that are designed to kind of look or replicate the Kurt style, you might need this. And they can talk you through it and because there's no exact fit for it, I believe they send both and then you just send the one back with a prepaid shipping label that doesn't work for you. But you definitely wanna call them because I'm not sure how that policy is gonna change or what they're gonna do about that. But I've already fit them both on there. That's why you see some of the scuffing right here of the paint. But Fort Knox Locks produces some very, very robust, incredibly strong locks. Now these are designed for use with a hasp style puck, but the lock I'm gonna use it with is gonna be this one because I happen to have a bunch of these. Um, but these are the Pro Series Master Locks and these things are actually pretty good. When it comes to Master Locks, this is about as good as they get. Um, they're not the easiest to pick is probably the best way to put it. And they're secured very well. So once you close it, it's protected around the outside. Yes, I believe the lock picking lawyer can get through these relatively quick, but not everyone's the lock picking lawyer. That being said, this is a pretty good setup when it's paired with this, but they have their own puck style locks that you can use. And I use those on my other trailers. I'm not using it on this trailer specifically, at least right now, because all my other locks are like these. So 
I want everything kind of keyed the same and that's the reason why we did it this way. But this works really well and it's very simple to use. Okay, so the way you secure this is simply take your lock housing, open it up, slide this into your coupler, put that on top, slide this through, and you're locked in place. So there's no way to actually get this off because it's inside of the actual coupler itself. And again, it kind of encases the entire thing. You can use a puck lock on here as well, and a puck lock will actually squeeze it a little bit tighter. Actually, it's about the same. But yeah, that's essentially what it does. And you can even take your chains, and you can put your chains inside of here with it. That way you kind of secure the whole assembly at once. Let me try to do that. There you go. Got the chains locked inside as well. And now you have this entire section kind of secured. And you know, there are other ways to secure your trailer just to keep people from, you know, trying to hook up to it. And this is just one really convenient way. All my chains are wrapped tight around here. I have them inside of this encased. I got a good quality lock on board. And uh, this is definitely gonna deter someone from stealing the trailer or at least trying to hitch up to it that might otherwise see it as an easy target. So very, very cool product, very easy to use fits very well. You definitely want to make sure you get the one that's designed for your specific coupler. Um, I noticed when I tried the other one, it is a little bit too loose and it seems as if you might be able to actually pry it off if you try hard enough. But with this one, I don't see that being a possibility. And I may end up replacing all of the locks on the trailer with puck style locks as well. But yeah, it works really well. Oh, and as a best practice, if you link the two hooks of your chain together and then put it inside of the coupler, there's no way to actually remove it to access them. So if you just lay them inside of there, you might be able to squeeze one of your hooks out through the side. But if you link them together and kind of put them under where the coupler is, you put this in place. Now there's actually no way to, to move these to get these out. So you can mess with them a little bit, but they're not going to come out because it's pulling on this chain and you don't get the slack you need to actually remove it from there. So yeah, just a quick little best practice. Okay, so I actually came back out and changed things up a little bit. I didn't want to have this as loose as I had it, and I was able to actually put this in, lock this in place, so now it kind of holds it here open so you can take all your chains, wrap them around, curl them inside, and make it just so they can't come out. I latched the two chain ends together, and then you can close this now. Just slide it around the coupler right here, like that. Take your lock feed it up, put it on, and it doesn't move at all anymore. I mean, it is super secure. And if you put a puck lock on here, it'll be even more secure because it's gonna be a little bit tighter. But yeah, this thing doesn't even budge at this point and you can't open the coupler right here, at least the latch, because it prevents it from moving now. Then I have this lock right here. So I think I've done just about everything I can do in this specific area to get it set up. But, you know, again, anybody who's determined enough or anybody who specializes in picking locks that is just really, really good at it can probably get through something like this. But this is definitely going to deter the average thief who just wants to come up, take a look at it and, you know, go for an easy target. And that's really the whole point behind something like this is deter the folks who think your trailer is an easier target than the one down the street. But yeah, it's set up really well. And again, I'm using this Master Lock Pro Series on here right now even though it's designed for a puck style lock to go on here. And it's only because I don't have a puck style lock on me and I'm using these same locks all around the trailer as well. So I'll likely replace these with the puck locks once I get them, but this is my setup for now. And this right here, again, is from the folks over at Waysafe. They actually sent this with a different product, but I wasn't using it then, but now I can use it here. It's got a nice little rubber cap that goes over the keyhole. That's what it looks like. Really, really cool product. And the nice thing is this isn't insanely expensive. A lot of people would expect something like this to be well over $200. I believe it's like $150 for this type of setup. So as it goes compared to, you know, other types of containment style locks like this, this is arguably one of the best values. And I know a lot of people will say, you know, just take a saw and you can cut all this off. Here's the thing to think about. Even if you cut this side off, you'd have to cut this side off as well because if one side is on, it's gonna be pinching the assembly together and it's not gonna allow it to come off. So if you cut the hinge off on this side, the lock on this side essentially turns into the hinge. So again, it's just a safer form of locking mechanism than others that are on the market. Really like this. The other manufacturer that I also like to take a look at are the folks from Proven, and I haven't used their traditional style coupler lock, so 
I'm going to get one of those in, and I'm going to compare it to this one just so I can give you my impression of both. But I'm a big fan of the Fort Knox locks, and I'm a big fan of the Proven Industries locks as well. I will put a link to this product in the description of the video if you're interested. Fort Knox Locks is a huge supporter of the channel. I do like to use their products because they're just built very well, and I believe most people that get them really love them. They are incredibly robust locks. Anyways, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.